plaintiff, Quinesha King, says the defendant is her sister, but they are complete opposites. Quinesha claims she takes care of her responsibilities, whereas the defendant only thinks about partying and smoking marijuana. Quinesha is suing her sister today for two loans and emotional distress. Defendant Tamisha Holloway says Quinesha has a sneaky side to her, and once she texted a guy whom Tamisha liked and invited him over. And when he arrived, Quinesha put on sexy lingerie and a wig and pretended to be Tamisha. Tamisha denies owing her sister for anything. Start with you. Well, this right here is my sister, of course, but we're like night and day, salt and pepper. I like to just go with the flow and do what I need to do as far as like school and work and come home and then sometimes I might have fun. But on the other hand, my sister, she likes to just go haywire, banana. She likes to um party all the time, do this and do that and smoke weed. I don't have nothing wrong with people that smoke weed, okay? Because it's legal in some countries or whatever. But at the end of the some day, states. it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, but it's not what you do, it's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? For an example, one time, me and my sister... Oh, I thought my... you were pointing the door. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't see. Go ahead. But anyways, sir... One time, something happened. One time, me and my sister... Now you pointed me. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. One time. Okay, me and my sister, for my prom night, she asked me that I want to smoke weed. And this was the first and the last time that I ever smoked weed mm -hmm. or whatever. So I was like, okay, I might as well, you know? So I did it, but it was so terrible, I, I promise. We smoked something called Purple Dragon or Purple Haze, right? I got so high that I started seeing purple. I'm like, is Barney in the room? So I had to go recuperate. I went inside of the bathroom. I started hallucinating, thought I was in hell, okay? Turns out it was my sister playing with the on and off switch. Oh, I was, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Another instance, another instance, sir, is when my sister was taking me to school, and I didn't know that she was high. Because if I would have knew that she was high, I would have never got up inside of the car in the first place. I'm an artist. I need to survive and live. Bam. We got into a car accident. This proves to you right here that my sister, she needs to take responsibility for everything that she is doing. I shouldn't have to, to, to pay for this and pay for that. At the end of the day, I am the younger sister, and she is the older sister, and she needs to pay me my money, even though I love her right now. How old business. are you? I'm 18, sir. And how old are you? I'm 20. Okay. You say you were in school? Yes, I am majoring in music because okay. I, I am a singer, I'm a songwriter. I also um, play the guitar. And basically what I plan to do in my future is I plan to create my own business. Like I want a whole empire full of musicians. And, uh, and so also I want to help uh, my community. What are you going to start doing? Well, right now I'm saving my money mm -hmm. to like build my own business. Like, right now, what I probably start business? music. Like, a recording studio. First of all, I want to open, like, a recording studio. And I'm going to work. Whatever I need to do. I feel like success okay. is inevitable because I am attracting I know, good but things. But to get success, you have to have a plan. Uh, so work on your plan. Yes, got sir. a plan on how you're going to first get that money to save. And then you're going to have to put down about 10, 20 percent, closer to about 20 percent on the loan that they'll give you to buy you a building for a studio. So plan all that out, all right? Maybe have your five-year, 10-year plan. Let me hear from you. I don't know why China's sitting right here trying to act like I'm just such a bad guy and she's just good at two shoes. But don't let them small eyes and high cheekbones fool you. This girl is something else. One time she even took my phone, Judge, and texted this dude that I was really liking or whatever. Text my text this dude and act like she was me and left the door unlocked, Judge. And when the dude came in, she had on some sex lingerie and a wig on, Judge, acting like she was me. You and told no, yes, you did. You did do this. You must got me confused. The guy with had he plans. met you before? Yeah, yes, he met me before. What? But no, she was acting like she was me. I know, but couldn't he tell? No, because <laughs> no, because she left the door unlocked, Judge. She just left the door. No, but when he saw, I don't care how many wigs she puts on. She had the lights dim. She left the door unlocked. He he she was unless he was back. blind or it was totally no. dark. He couldn't have mistaken her for you. She cause because in, my, in our living room we have the lights where you have the dim them real low, and she left That's the lights. I say it had to be totally dark. 
or he had to he be just... blind. So I think ain't nobody going to mix you all up. Mm-hmm. All right, what else? Are you in school? What are you doing? She said you all you do is party. And no. I'm with her. It sounds like she's saying what I always say to young folks. It's all right to party on the weekends, but during the week, you got to take care of your business. All right, so what do you do? I'm in school. Doing what? I'm trying to go to school to be a maker. You said, I'm trying to go to school. Are you in school no, or not? Yes, I'm in school right now. How long is that curriculum for a makeup artist? Uh, it's a nine-month program. All right, that's a high-paying job. Our makeup artist, Debbie Davis, here makes plenty of money. She got 10, 15 ladies that work up under her. She started by herself. So I'm saying, you start at the bottom, you go up to the top. Debbie started just her. Now she's all the way up to the top. She does the most important, powerful, and famous people in the world. So that should be a good example. You want to talk with her before you leave? I'll put you with her. Yes. All right, she'll uh, smoke them lies out first of all. <laughs> and see whether you're really in school. And if not, she can advise you on how to do it, all right? When the dude came in, she had on some sexy lingerie and a wig on, Judge, acting like she was me. You. And told, no, yes, she did. You did do this. You must got me confused. The guy, with had he met friends. you before? Yeah, yes, he met me before. What? But no, she was acting like she was me. I know, but couldn't he tell? <laughs> Defendant Tamisha Holloway is being sued by her sister, who she claims once put on sexy lingerie and a wig and pretended to be Tamisha to get a guy. All right, let's get to the loans. How does she owe you? Well, basically, my sister owed me $2,092, and I'm suing for $500 because, like, she stressed me out or whatever. The $2,092 come in because on September 30th, my sister went to jail for, I think, traffic violations. So I decided, okay, I'm going to give my sister this money. Well, of course, I didn't give it to her directly, but I gave it to my mother, and my mother paid for my sister to get out of jail. But then, five days later, my sister goes right back and goes to jail. So I'm like, oh, my gosh, sis, why is you doing for this? traffic violations. No, the next, the, the second time was for something different. Okay. So my sister goes right back to jail. So I had to give my mother $1,500 to help my, my sister get out of jail. So when my sister got out of jail, she agreed to give me my money back. But I don't see a dime from her. Not a dime. She already coming up inside my room, eating all my snacks, eating up everything. I'm thick. I need After to maintain. she smoked that weed. I need to maintain my Get those my munchies. Way. I need to maintain my way, y'all. Ma'am, you order this? No, I mean, I don't owe her this job. You didn't borrow any money from her? No. <gasps> oh, my god! Are gosh. you slow about answering? You have that little sheepish grin on your face. What is this, Tamisha Holloway? What is this, sister? That, that, I this girl is, is like, loony You don't even know what she's showing. <laughs> Mm-mm. We talking about you didn't sign it. She didn't tell you what she was showing me. What? You have your ID today? Because this, you agree that you owe her $2,000. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see your ID since you're denying it. And if you're lying, you'll never meet Debbie. How about that? So I hope you're telling the truth. I'm going to let you meet her anyway, but you're telling the truth, ma'am. But it says $2,000. Sorry, sir. Here, that, I'm sorry. My bad. But here right here is another later, some more evidence. Did sir. she sign it? Does she acknowledge it? And also, She's I'm... not even acknowledging this. Do you owe her any money more than this? Yes. Yeah. the truth. Yes. Okay, I'll grant you your judgment. She agrees that she does. Two thousand five hundred ninety-two. A minute ago, she denied owing you at all. Then when I asked, do you owe any more? She says yes. I don't know what's going on with you, help her, but judge, I help hopefully her. Debbie can work with you. <laughs> judgment for the plaintiff. my sister, but you just need to get your stuff in order, You okay? lied about some stuff. You, I lied. I lied. I didn't sign that letter. Girl, I can't even look at you right now, really, though. I did not I sign. can't look at you. 